Quincy Patterson on the keeper. Line, right out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Going to be close to that first down. Patterson. Again, Patterson committed to Vanderbilt. He has it up for the first down. He's committed to Vanderbilt. for the Nationals. One of those... Uh, Again, Nationals, we need to hear you, fans. Get them on the guys floor. Guys, let's go. Very smart. The body will hang out with me. Jeremy Banks around the left side. He had 198 carries and 38 touchdowns and over 1,900 yards this season. Four guys, 15 yards downfield to make a play. Jeremy Banks. All balls down inside the American, on the American side of the field. First down and 10. He's looking at you saying, you want to decline it? And you're thinking, yeah, I do, but he's looking at you like you should. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny because uh, it makes you second guess yourself. And you may, he may not be doing anything. He just in your mind, he's telling you not to. You need to decline this. So first and 10. Moves the national team inside the 40 yard line. Patterson, Quincy Patterson at quarterback. Two receivers to the near side. Moves to Darius Bishop, number nine. Set up on the opposite hash. 
the defense threw it back. Rashad Williams on the coverage. 28 yards. Maybe take that pass about 55 yards. This year had six interceptions. Team America is going to push him down inside the red zone. A good defense by that secondary. Brumfield on carry. I think it was the earlier game we talked about. Sometimes good running backs got to take what the defense gives you. Right there's a good example. Brumfield has been around for a while, and it was only three yards, but look, it put him in second seven opposed to second 10. Patterson now on the keeper around the right side, tucks it up to about the 15 yard line. Bring up third down and seven. Nashville's been down in this area a couple of times, missed two field goals. They have to take advantage of this opportunity for sure. Just a single coverage over here on the two. Let's see what they look at. A bit overthrown. The receiver was Keenan Jones. A lot of that's just time. You know, it's uh, they've only been working since uh, Tuesday, and guy gets a little bit off the stem, just a hair, and it's the difference between a touchdown and an incomplete pass. Made a field goal attempt this time of 32 yards. There you go. Looks good. Number 25. It's National on the scoreboard with a field goal, so it's now 14 to 3. Five minutes, 58 seconds. Five minutes, 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. I can take it. 
There's a touchback for, not really a touchback, I'm sorry. It's uh, a, the kickoffs aren't live. Ball comes down inside the 20. It's going to be brought out to the 25 yard line. Bubble screen out there, good blocking. It's a good eight yard play right there. You know, that's just getting the ball out on the perimeter and making something positive happen. Speed. You like to see that burst. Off sides on the defense. Man. <coughs> Number two, Kevin Austin, uh, he's really a polished receiver. You could watch him right there uh, on a stalk block, how he had his feet maybe a little bit too wide, but he wasn't lunging at him. Uh, the defender, he was letting the defender come to him uh, to make the play, to make the block, I should say. Two bubble screens result in about uh, 25 yards and a little penalty puts them in national territory at the 49 yard line. Boy, Caleb Tanner, quick. When we watch the replay here, I want you to watch number seven's feet. When he makes contact, watch his feet. Here, boom, contact, watch his feet. Boom, 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 boom. That's what good running backs do. He doesn't get pushed back. He, I'm sure if you ask him, he'd like to keep those feet moving a little bit more, but that's the whole idea. You know, keep your feet moving after contact. Finish forward, finish the run. I don't know what Tanner was thinking over there. He's going to do uh, maybe a little <laughs> 360 move. But anyway, he gets about eight, nine yards. Brings up a 
third down and two. Good cut. Good job by the running back. Thomas reading the tackle. There was the kick of number 51, Jalil Irvin. Running back cuts up underneath it. Good play, gain of four, first and 10. Run over the right side, coming back, bringing second down and two. Gonna try the left side this time. <laughs> Good job. I tell you what, Kevin Austin. Kevin Austin's pretty, as I'd say, he's pretty salty. I mean, he's. He, I like when he works without the football, when he can make the big play with the football, and right there. You know, you can only sustain a stock block for so long, but the effort's there. Um, Notre Dame's got them a good little player. Off. And see what the late penalty was for. So this is the first time we've had that, so I'll explain real quick. Uh, when you see a procedure call, usually it goes against the offense and these games with bowls that will go against the defense. And what that basically means is there are certain parameters the defense can and can't do because of the pre preparation time the offense has. So the four defensive linemen have to all be in three-point stances. The linebackers have to be at least five yards off the ball. And then the safeties, if walked up, can only be eight yards. Thomas is coming up a little bit short. Maybe no gain. I'd look maybe for this play to be run again, and it'd be kept right up the middle by the quarterback. Second and goal. Quarterback keeper, the Zion quarterback draw gets down to the one yard line, third down and one. So we are wrapping up quarter number three with American with a third down and goal from the one yard line. As we always do, we will go to the third quarter highlights, then down to Bree for a special story. 
coming up. Before we get started with the fourth quarter, as American team, or Team American leads Team National 14 to three, let's throw it down to Bree for another special story. Thanks, Todd. Well, this is the last high school game for most of these players, and the big question everyone wants to know is, why play in this game if you're already committed to a college? Well, the stats speak for themselves. 60% of these players will be in the NFL in the next three to four years, and for the 9 out of 88 that haven't signed anywhere yet, it's an extra chance to see their game. Back to you. It's pretty impressive right there. That's a good reason to play in the game. Handoff off the right side, touchdown, American. <laughs> Thomas with the touchdown carry off the right side. The offensive line did some work. Kai Golden, number 70. 67 is Maxwell Ayama. 76, Princeton Pines. 51, Jalil Irvin. 72, Jerome Carvin. Those are the big fellas up front. They don't get a whole lot of recognition, but uh, that drive was really put on their back. Good job by the big fellas. Here's a couple of different views to watch those big guys work. See, they work, they're all stepping in sequence, so it tells you it's a zone play and it's gonna work, it's gonna be a zone to the outside. And how that kind of works is, you know, Thomas is reading the widest man on the line of scrimmage blocking, and that would have been number 72 and he's got a choice to make to whether to go outside or inside of him. He could have gone either. And uh, <laughs> he, he chose to get to the end zone that way. So big number 72, Jerome Carvin, could throw him up in the air. Zone box scheme is a scheme that uh, most teams have started going to here over the past, as the evolution of the shotgun. Um, it was there beforehand, but it keeps you from blocking a man per se, and you're blocking an area. There you see number nine. Um, I guess Andrew or Jalen Robinson, I've got to remember, I was talking to him before the game. You see him with his uh, Oregon hat on. He's hidden right there behind number 13 uh, uh, out of all people. But uh, so I, he's from Georgia, guy next to him from Alabama. I said, you Alabama fan? He said, yeah, he's committed to state. So I asked him, are you a Georgia fan? He said, no, I'm an Oregon fan. So, okay, so I come up here and I said, oh, no wonder. He's committed to Oregon. That's a good reason to be a fan. <laughs> and number 70, it's uh, Andrew Johnson, yeah, number nine. Andrew is uh, Tifton, Georgia, Tiff County. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jarius Prince from Louisville Wagner Traditional tells me he ran a 4-3 yesterday. 5'10", little cornerback. Got an MCL injury. Came down, but not going to be able to participate. <laughs> See National with a wing, two receivers to the short side. There's a toss to the short side of the field. Big run by number three. That's going to be Jeremy Banks. I think there's four number threes on the national team. If we were playing poker, it'd be a pretty good hand. But when you're calling a football game, it's a nightmare. Nice throw and catch. Over here on the sideline. This is at DeAndre Square with the reception. Good enough for a first down. Watch this, he pushes. Good timing. That's Battle, excuse me, the other number one, Miles Battle. Pass incomplete. Leary, I believe, is uh, quarterback. <laughs> Tell you, that out route is one route you do not want to throw late. It's going to find itself, as we did in an earlier game, on a pick six. Second down at 15. So with 14 minutes left to go, American on top, 21 to three, National with the ball. You know, for all the young people out there that might be watching the game and wondering, you know, what it takes to get to this type of level. It's not the work you do at practice. It's the work you do when nobody's watching that separates you from your peers. You know, you're out there, you're at, your coach is asking you to do certain drills and you're not necessarily doing them right. Remember, you're just cheating yourself. You know, it's, uh, that coach is there to push you. When you got to start worrying is when a coach isn't pushing you. As long as they're paying attention to you, they think you can do something, they care about you. But when they stop coaching you, that's when you need to get worried. Always have a good attitude, be coachable, do the best you can. That's all we can ask. Second down and 15 for National. Play action the right side. They're going to take a shot. Oh, nice catch. Thought there might have been a little bit of interference, too. Great catch, great throw.
Good fake. I think he got there a little early. It's still a really good catch. Let's watch. Good easy throw. One-handed that. Good concentration by number eight, Cameron Brown. When you're running back, Jeremy Banks, and uh, you know, these are small things we talk about on the play before, even though it was a completion, when you know, you're know you the back that they're faking to, you want to be able to you want to wrap up and you want to drop those shoulders and cover up. And just like he's running the football right here, you want to sell yourself as much as possible that you're running to make it easier for that play action. But in return, the next time they give it to you, if it looks like the same time when you do and then when you don't, they're, they're mirror images of each other, except for the football, you're going to make things easier on yourself as well. Always keep defense guessing. A little reverse to number eight. Cameron Brown gets around the corner. Nice cut back. Another cut. It's to the 10 yard line. Good job by number three, Noah Boykin. There's another number three. There's one three. There's two threes. Third down and six. That's Boykin again. Nope. That's Averitt, number 20. What a good play that is, man. Good collision. Jeremy Banks. Fourth down at seven. But watch, good play by Leary. Let's check this angle out. <laughs> I tell you, just one little block makes a big difference, and you see the receiver right there kind of put his hand on the defensive back that gave him that little bit of alley to get in the end zone. You know, other than uh, extra point is good, other than the offense defense camp, teaching good fundamentals, I guarantee you the one thing or the other thing that they're concerned about is your safety or your son's safety. They have medical staff on both sidelines. They have ambulance present in the end zone. And you know, when we as coaches are coaching your children, we know we're coaching your most prized possession. And you know, I, I can go through 
hell or high water, as they say, to make sure that your son's not getting injured on my watch. And therefore, that means I'm practicing, you know, heads up tackling. We're doing all the right things. And I can guarantee you the same thing. This goes on with uh, these offense defense camps. You learn and they're going to be safe. And most of all, they're out of your house for a couple of days. Can't beat that. I say that jokingly. It's a nice kick. No live returns. So American's going to have the ball on the 25-yard line. I think that's number 10. I think that's Slade Bolden. He was the Louisiana Gatorade Player of the Year. He uh, plays up at West Monroe High School. He's a commitment to Alabama to be a slot receiver or a skilled position receiver. Or it could be uh, Miles Mason. I hope that it's uh, Bolden. <laughs> So 10-13, 21 to 10 American. A little bit more scoring here in the second half. Hey, hey, hey. the Walters. Attended uh, attempt for Kevin Austin. O'Neill knocked it down at the line of scrimmage. Bring up second down and 10. There's mystery running back number one. As in number one is number 16. Got any uh, flag down in the area of holding or roughing the passer. Here's your roughing the passer call. That's one thing in, in college they're just not playing with anymore. I mean, that's, you can't get close. And uh, you can see the white hat there saying that he went in with like both forearms crossed almost, if you will. That'll get 15 pretty quick. Fifteen 
First and 10, 43 yard line. We're right to number 35. Damien Clark from Southern Lab in Baton Rouge with a pick six of his own. LSU commit. Look at that boy, looks like he can run too. Played both sides of the ball at Southern Lab. Play right there, 21 to 16. Now the point after attempt by Zeta. So National has cut the gap to four with nine minutes left to play. Here's the kickoff. Remember, if it's not live. Ball will be brought up to the 25-yard line. American All-Stars leading 21-17. We'll take possession of the football through to 10 at the 25-yard line. First down and 10. We're back to the running game with big number seven. No gain this time. Watch off the right side, just no movement whatsoever by that offensive line. Defensive line is playing really well. Momentum is a crazy thing, I'll tell you. And once you have it, it's, it's, uh, it's got to make a big play to turn it back around. Run off the right side. Gets him up to about the 30-yard line. Good defensive play coming up from the secondary. Also, uh, it's Damian Clark again. Sorry, excuse me, that's number two, Keenan Jones coming downhill.
So it looks like it's going to be a three and out for the American, Team American. And here's the punt. There's the give. Cuts it back inside, not much there. Backside leakage, as I'd call it, just kind of seeping over to make the play. Goes out of bounds at about the 46 yard line, and that's where the national team will take over. Here we go. Nice. Wow. There's number two for the red team. It's Barnes. Keenan Jones, I'm sorry, Keenan Jones. Great passing catch right there. Good throw right over the linebacker's head. And it's off to the races. Boom. Man. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Is Larry, he gets his feet. You get your feet square, your body's got to follow. He, and he got his feet square through a strike to Jones. Larry to Austin. And the Nationals have their first lead of the night. It's up and it's good. Extra point is good. National 24. American 21. 24, 21, 637 left to play. It's taken a while, but the offense has finally clicked into gear. More impressive is the execution, especially on that route that uh, they just ran. Nice pass and catch. Jones catches it, goes north and south, gets to the end zone. Kind of wonder if American kind of put it in cruise control for a little bit. Let's see if they can find their gear again. So American will take over from the 25 yard line. We'll be here with you tomorrow. A lot of uh, all American bowls, anywhere from first grade all the way to 12th grade. The Americans will start off first and 10. Let's see what we got right here. You always like to see how teams 
handle adversity, how they respond to it. Let's see what the American team 